Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures, and we're back with yet another Cobra Mode release that I can barely attempt to pronounce the name. I swear lately it's between Battle Yak and Cobra Mode for giving me the most obnoxiously fun, complicated names. In front of us today we have the Shueren Adept, if I'm saying that right, Shueren. Uh, Qi Wang Mu? I don't know. I don't speak Chinese, but he is one of the Shui Ren, which are Cobra Mode's three-eyed yetis. Yes, we have three-eyed yetis, and I did try to prime him up because I could not wait. Now, we had the big Shui Ren sorcerer a while back, whose name is escaping me at the moment, and I was going to show him off, but he's still kind of partially painted to the point where it's still kind of an embarrassing mess, so we'll save him for another day to reveal, but... Uh, this guy was just as interesting, and for the longest time, I was really stuck on what to do with our Shui Ren Sorcerer. But now that I've got Ki Wang Mu here, I, I finally, it dawned on me, considering he is so furry and fuzzy, I'm going to paint him up like a Japanese monkey. We're going to have really light fur and bright pink, pinkish red flesh, I'm thinking. I think it's going to be fun. This guy... At first, I thought he wasn't wearing any clothes. He's got, like, a little loincloth thing. He's got, like, a big, giant belt buckle and these really, really fancy-looking gauntlets. Sadly, this was not with the water-washable resin, and I ran out of gloves. And I'm waiting on both resin and gloves at the moment, and I really wanted to get this up before the month was over. So I didn't have a chance to get everything from this set printed that I wanted to. But I was thinking these guys, especially our friend right here, would make a great Oni-style adversary. So that was my other thought, was painting them with like bright red skin. If you've ever seen any of my Oni models, I tend to paint them up in bright reds. Uh, maybe some purplish in there. But yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards like a Japanese monkey. I think that might be interesting. My other thought was just looking at all that fur and fuzz and his facial expression. I keep thinking Akuma from Street Fighter. I don't know. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on where I should take this guy in terms of painting. Uh, I just really dig the style. I mean, he's got, you know, the little headbands wrapped around his braids here. And the very large mammary glands, which is an interesting touch. We should have had big, uh, bright red butt cheeks, but yeah. <laughs> would have been odd. So he was part of a release of nothing but the Shui Ren, which were the big three-eyed Yeti people. And they are rather large, obviously. Uh, they had, like, a hermit type who was sitting there meditating. They had a really cool, like, moon prophet princess girl I'm going to get around to doing myself. And as I chug a big old glass of tea here. Uh, they also had a fun little Chow-style dog with a Shui Ren uh, shepherd boy on it. And if I could say this right... This is a Xiao Tian, Ao Peng Peng was his name, Ao Peng Peng, but he is a goofy, derpy dog, his tongue lolling out of his mouth, and check this out, I had it so close to the edge of the printer, it sheared off all his fur there, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Oh, and one of the other interesting things I totally forgot to mention about these guys, uh, this is the first set that I can think of from Cobra Mode that actually had a option of having everything printed and supported, pre-supported I should say, at both regular 32mm gaming scale and then also larger 54mm just painting model scale. So for those of you who do like larger scale figures, they have everything all set to go for you. Even our goofy dog that doesn't want to stay up on his own right now with his fun little hat. Um, so everything in the set was actually at that larger size too. This is the 32 millimeter version. I'm curious to see just how large the 54 one is. 54 one, I think you might even be able to use them for like a giant at that point. Grabbing a couple of our other Cobra Mode models. Pretty comparable to the Hikiga here. They are the big frog-like bruisers of the Cobra Mode world. I gotta say, Cobra Mode has some very interesting fantasy races. To me, it's it's probably one of the most unique in terms of the variety we've seen so far, especially on a regular monthly basis. That's even cooler, and I'm all for 
interesting and different things. My favorites, the Hanzaki, the little salamander ninja people. Although I did have some peasants, but I think they're all put away at the moment. So you can see size-wise, he looks pretty good with his little compatriots there. But I think, you know, going with the Oni style, my first thought, if I'm going to have him like an Akuma style villain, who better to fight him, right? My Street Fighters. I don't even know if these guys are available anywhere. They were sort of, I want to say they were like fantasy. Well, you could build them without the fantasy pieces, but yeah, I had to build them with that. If you wanted to bust out like, oh, we forgot our Bundabura. Yet another one of the interesting Cobra Mode peoples, little platypi. I was grabbing some samurai. Where did I put them? Because that was my other thought was, you know, tabletop games like Ronin or Test of Honor. If you wanted to have big giant monsters with some fantasy type things in there, I think that's a great size for a big bruiser ogre style model. Or possibly a troll type, if you wanted to go that route as well. So, I am hoping we will see more of the Shueren. Personally, myself, I am hoping, number one, to get my big sorcerer finished, and number two, to get more of this set done. That moon goddess lady looked really cool. Um, I'm going to put a link down below, because obviously we want you guys to go check that out, especially before things switch over for the next set of cool stuff on Patreon, but if you're watching this video after the fact, we will have that My Mini Factory link as well. So definitely give that stuff a good long look. There's always some fun models there from Cobra Mode. So with that said, this has been High Lord Tamburlaine with Obscurities and Miniatures, saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.